Today I woke up and I have 14 aunts and uncles, so it's pretty incredible. My mom and dad had 16 children. I'm the oldest. There are only 12 of us living now. I'm still putting it all together. It's pretty incredible that my mom woke up one day and realized who her real father was. And we went to a family reunion and we met almost all of them. And that's where I met Kath. She told me that she goes shooting. And I was like, I, I gotta go shooting. I have to learn how to do this. So she turned me on to Front Sight and she said she's coming down here to Vegas and that's how I ended up here at Front Sight. Are you going to come back? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely coming back. I am a guardian member of Front Sight. I have all these memberships that I can do whatever I want with and I said, come with me to Front Sight and I'll give you a membership. Welcome to Front Sight Firearms Training Institute, located just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Brad Ackman, and I am your Director of Training. We are the dominant force in personal protection and self-defense. My name is Kath McCubbins Carlson. I'm from Kenai, Alaska. I believe that it's very important for people to be able to exercise their Second Amendment rights. I have always had an interest in guns. I grew up with my father hunting, but he never took any of his girls hunting. He would always take the boys. So I decided I wanted to learn how to shoot guns and do it properly. <laughs> Hello, friend side. I have my own. You have your own. Yeah, that's why I bring from yesterday. And shirt for shirt. shirt. Garment. Garment before weapon. Very nicely done. Sights lined up, stay focused on the front. Okay, good. Ease it out to the click. We'll cast it. Perfect. Okay. Right press to the rear. Ease it out to the click. And take up that little bit of slack. Now you're done. You're straight. Now to the ready. Perfect. Weapons loaded, safety is on full auto. Sure, and center up the front sight post in the thoracic cavity on the target. It'll continue firing until it's empty as long as you're holding the trigger back. Am I gonna get bruises on my cheek? No, not with this weapon, no. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Okay. Nice job. Okay. Hey, that was fun, can I do it again? That was a blast. That was so much fun. Gina? You're going to love it. <laughs> I promise, you're going to love it. It doesn't hurt at all. I was expecting like a regular rifle recoil, uh -huh. you know, or a shotgun, but it's not, it's not like that at all. Correct. It's a handgun round and there's a lot more mass with this weapon, so the recoil doesn't make your hands rock. It has been a total blast. All the instructors have been helping us out when we're not doing something properly. This is not my first trip to Front Sight. I've seen some changes that they have done. I think it's a much better experience. I'm a first family member. I'm a guardian member of Front Sight. The more people that we can attract to come and learn how to handle firearms, I think it would be better for everyone. Really looking forward to days two, three, and four because I know this is gonna get better. We're gonna have a lot more fun. Thanks. Ready, Hi. important for you to understand the difference between the reflexive act of clearing a malfunction and the conscious decision to shoot. Straight, keep the gun high. Brass flip, there you go. Finish up on target on trigger, but you're not going to shoot. No threat. Okay, finger straight, come down to the right. Stand round up, give that ejection cord, keep the slide closed. Darn good. You know how to do it. Yeah. 
that was good. The only thing that didn't happen in the correct sequence was after you looked and moved and got your magazine, you didn't restage your thumb on the button. You had to, you waited until the magazine was all the way up here, and then you go, oh, I'm not on the button. Okay. And you got on the button and pressed it. Once the door knob is fully turned, I'm gonna shove the door in and step back. Okay, just like that. And at this point, I'm looking for anything. Movement, shadows, reflections, anything that would indicate the presence of a bad guy. Up there, or down there. That makes so much sense. In all these years, my dad was trying to find his second daughter, Robbie. My sister Mary got this actual handwritten letter from Robbie. She was at my mom's house. And she read it and mom says, oh, let's call her. So they called her. First thing Robbie said was, I think Ray McCubbins is my dad. And my mom says, absolutely, because he's been trying to look for you for years. So we've got this whole new family that I met. I was in Utah and Robbie came with her daughter, Gina. And she was talking about how she had this gun and she didn't know the first thing about shooting it. And I said, I know, I know. I'll come down in February and we will all go to Fern's site because they just live in Las Vegas. Gina is doing wonderfully. Gina was very, very afraid of even just touching the gun. She, the first couple times she held it, she was just shaking and didn't know what to do, but she has got so comfortable. This is only the second day here, and she is just doing an amazing job. I love front side. All right, this is the first exercise. I like the way your trigger finger is high on the reference point. Your feet are getting a little too close when you trail. It's a little bit farther. Now you've seen all the way down the hallway. Good. Approach the door from the knob side now. Bring the weapon into close contact. Soft check to make sure it's going to open, then throw it hard. Slide back to the ready. Good. You've seen everything you might be able to see from that side. Now start working your way around in an arc. Small steps. You're just going to keep moving in a straight line. Look to that corner, look back at me, muzzle in, muzzle back out as you keep moving. Okay. That's it, Kathy. Good. You'll have a chance to do this in live fire in just a few minutes. I've watched my niece, Gina, for the last two and a half days. I'm sorry, but I'm just a big baby when it comes to my family. She has improved so much since the first time when she hardly even knew how to hold the gun and was very scared. She was hesitant, didn't know what to do, but today her shots were a lot better. She was more confident, and I can see that in her whole demeanor. It's not just her shooting. I am very confident with the things she's learned here. She will be able to put in practice in the real world if she ever needs it. It's time to head back to the bays, and I'm pretty confident that I can do a lot better. I know Gina is going to do great. Bye. Thanks for listening. Excited? Yeah. Good. I'm nervous. All right, Kath, go ahead and step on up. And you clip this here carabiner on the back of your belt. All right, let's head on through. We're gonna be heading in that direction. All right, hold up right there. You see a scumbag duck inside your house. You hear yelling and screaming. Your family and friends are in there. You call the cops, 30 minute response time, no good. You're gonna to have to go in and save them yourself. Are you ready? Ready. There's the door. Get a little bit more distance from the door. Turn you around to the other side. When you're ready to go in. All right, Cap, scenario is over. Go ahead and unload. So we got one right here, almost in the center of the thoracic cavity. Your second one, you probably rushed just a little bit, either you went too low or you slapped right through the slack and it actually went below the target. Watch your step. Let's continue on to the next targets. All right, so you didn't shoot him, doesn't look like a threat. See this guy, you went for a craniocular cavity shot and you got him right in the bandana. You want to make sure, certain that you slow down and focus on your front sight. Good sized group, okay? They're a good distance away from each other within a hand span size, but it's a little bit too off to the left for this guy's thoracic cap. All right, you didn't shoot her. She doesn't look like a threat either. What we got is one right here, slightly high and left of the thoracic. Your second shot, you might have rushed it because he's so close that you actually shanked it again down below or maybe even off to the side. And this is what this is going to show you. 
is what you would do in a situation like this. Uh -huh. We give you a couple of tips on how to go through it and we help you along, but ultimately it shows you what you're going to do with the plan you have right now, if you have any plan. A little bit more training and actually thinking through a plan for your house, your house plan, your situation, how many kids you have, come back to front site and we can help you with that. All right, okay, let's head on out. How'd you do? Oh, stop it. You did great. <laughs> the first time I was here was five years ago, so I had kind of forgotten everybody should be able to come and experience this because honestly, you never know when something like this may happen to you. Kathy McCubbins Carlson, oh, yeah. your student of the week. Okay. Nice job. Nicely done. You are a lady. All right, now this isn't the first time you've touched a gun. Oh, no, 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 no. I carry a gun at home. Awesome. Well, your shooting really shows it. It was really good. You took your time, you were patient with your shots, and you had really outstanding groups. Okay, so I just want to encourage you to keep practicing and keep staying with it. Thanks. All right? I have good instructors. Nicely done. Great instructors here at Front Side. All right. <laughs> Thanks. It's the end of four days. Had amazing experience here at Front Sight. I'm so grateful that I've been able to come out here with my sister and my niece. I'm just really glad that they took the initiative and the opportunity to come out with me. Every single instructor helped me in one way or another. The range master to the line coaches and even Gina at times was right there to say, oh, put your elbow down or don't forget your trigger finger. Never met Dr. Piazza. That's my next goal when I come to Front Sight. Very glad for his foresight for Front Sight in order to put all this together. A wonderful range, it's a lot of fun to shoot on. Don't want to move to Nevada, but I plan on making a lot of trips here. Here they start with the basics. In Alaska, it's seal builder training only, but I would encourage everybody to come out here and see what Frontside has to offer. There's more than just shooting guns. Thank you for watching. Like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. And you can find those links below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay current on your training and the latest developments at Front Sight.